Hello everyone, welcome back to Sun Up on 7. It's time for our graduation celebration series that we're having here in Sun Up on 7. So today we're joined by students of Gwen Lizaraga High School. Let me introduce our guest. We have Daryl Gorosika, who is a valedictorian. Daryl, good morning. How are you Hi. doing? Good. Good. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to hear about, you know, what were your challenges and of course what's next for you. Before let me introduce our next guest, Kenmar Flowers. Kenmar, you're the salutatorian. How are you doing today? Doing good. You're good? Yes, sir. All right. And we also have Kalisha Ventura, who's doing the vote of thanks. Kalisha, how are you doing? I love your name, by the way. Thanks. Good. You're good? All right. So before we get into this conversation, I want to remind uh, folks that are watching us from different high schools, if you want to join us on our couch, bring your students and highlight them, and of course, bring a motivation to other students, you're welcome. Please contact our production team. And of course, we're going to be so glad and so excited to host your school here on our couch. Or if they want to do a Zoom, because I they want to do a Zoom as well. people too that are yeah. in a PG or Coro or whatever it is, because we just want to be able to highlight all these amazing students. They had a serious Definitely. journey <laughs> with COVID and everything. And so it's great to see them at the place they are. Graduation, they're right wrong in the lane, June 11. I feel people must have conked down and it's like an exciting time to be able What's next? I've really? worked hard I'm over this. with this school. i over with it like, <laughs> done. <laughs> right. So let's get to know them, Ren. So let's just start off with Darnell. Oh, Darrell, sorry. Darrell. Darnell, my bad. Um, Darrell, so tell us a little bit about what has been the journey like, you know, in the past two years for you. Like, what were your challenges? And also, what was the things that made you super happy with the overall idea of COVID and going to school online? Well, the challenges was the online classes. Like, most of the time, like, if you didn't have net, you couldn't go online and do your classes. Or if you didn't have any devices, yeah. you, told, you weren't able to do your work. And for me, I could do my work, but like sometimes I need like to see the teacher face to face to like actually understand some work. Sometimes like let them explain it better. And yeah. And I, I think that face to face is super. People don't understand how much like you just need the teacher to look pan and be like, that wrong or like, that correct, you're going great or stuff like that's just a thing that online will never be able to touch. For me personally, too, as well, like it just it won't be able to touch that. And you know, there are the challenges of internet sometimes, even to find like a quiet place to do your work. Because with the hustle and bustle of how society set up, and sometimes I'm sure other people were studying too, so that everybody at the same time they try to get this done. So there's a lot of pressure that comes with it. And the thing that I liked was uh, I didn't have to really wake up early to um, reach down to school or I had to worry about spending money to reach school or what to eat because I was already at home and had food. That is so smart. That's true. That's true. Did you guys have to wear a uniform too as well? Only your shirt. Me, yeah, you the on the same page, man. I keep telling people like, you just wear the shirt and then you just like be chill. <laughs> You to judge me. You know what? Let's talk. Let's talk to Ken Kenmar. <laughs> Let's talk to Kenmar. So Kenmar, um, so we already like hearing the challenges, especially as it regards to COVID. You know, online teaching, going back to like face-to-face uh, -face interaction. For you, really, what what was like your support system? What what really was it that helped you to move forward to being the salutatorian today? Well, most personally motivated me, my mother and. I always pray to God about all my stuff and challenges I face in life. So I just put my mind to my work and I always try to stay up on a positive side, even though sometimes I drop, but I try to get up and push forward and stuff. Yeah. My God and my mother is my biggest support and motivator. What's your mother's name? You have to give her a shout out. It's Natalie Hamilton. Big Natalie up, Hamilton. It's Natalie Hamilton. Love it. So um, you're a salutatorian. What, what's, the, what's the feeling like? Are you excited? Why do you feel accomplished? Uh, when, what I first, like? when I first heard I was excited. I was happy because I have an idea that I was, but I wasn't too sure. But when I heard it, I was very happy because that was what I prayed for. I love, I love it. it. I really love it. And you know, when you work hard and you pray, like it just aligns. God makes everything align so perfectly. And so I'm so thankful that, you know, you got that. You don't know him in the a little bit, but you just need that confirmation. You know that kind of way? <laughs> so I'm super happy for you. Congratulations to all of you. Yeah. And so... Let's have a conversation with Kailisha. Kailisha. I, we love your name. Kailisha, are you, are you like the quiet person in school? What is your vibe like? Because I, I am sensing that, you know, like you're quite reserved. Do you eat in class? Nobody... You <laughs> both graduate, so you don't have to worry or not. <laughs> <laughs> what was the high school experience for you like? It was good, but... When you're there online, a lot of noise outside, 
You can concentrate good. But to me, online be good for me. I mean, like it I'd better than to go to school, wake up early, have a stress about food where I eat. I feel like this complication, I get up early that, and where I have to deal with it. Right. That means just something where it's like, you know what, I have to deal with that stress. Because you're in the comfort of your home. What time did school start? Eight. Yeah. Eight. So you could wake up like 7.50, just make it look like a put on your shirt and like, you didn't have to be before ahead of time. You know, I, I know they said that you do that, but I just say that's a possibility. Usually <laughs> people not being. <laughs> thank you, Kaisha. Thank you for confirming me. I need that, okay? I, I feel like I don't look for me like I crazy. Think this is why I like Kylie. <laughs> she confirmed me. <laughs> and how about your, your relationships, your friendships and everything? Like was how did you maintain it? It well? never really good because sometimes you're like, why the teacher there front of you for answer how you for understand the word name. And then when I try text name, they don't answer you. So that that was a problem for me. And how did you push through? Like because you do vote a tongue, so obviously you push through, girl. I'm not really sure, but... You made it, true? You made it. Whatever it did. And I, I, I never think I'm going to meet third. Yeah. And, and look at you coming in third. Like, imagine we don't... We sometimes, we... We even surprise our own selves on our capabilities. And that's the good part about it. That is true. That is true. So, graduation is, is like quite like a... A, a transition, you know, from, from teenage going into like a young adulthood. And of course, like it comes with many emotions, right? So I, I am just curious, how, how did you all feel when they said you're, you're graduating? Like you came, like you said, you were surprised. You were kind of like had a feeling that you would be salutatorian, but it was confirmed. But what was the overall feel? Did anybody get emotional? Did anybody cry? How, how was the feeling like? <laughs> you, say, you never cry? Like, you know, cry. What does it feel like, you know, get over high Spencer school and like, on to the next? You feel good. Feel good that, you know, one That's enough with the school no more. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like, you know what? I'm done with it. Is there, like, I know, I don't know if this still happens, but I know I did it. When I graduated, that you know you're going to get your diploma and stuff, like you do that Lee move, <laughs> some kind of Lee move. Do you guys plan to do any move on and a walk up for getting stuff? Or I'll be a surprise. I feel I'm, like... I'm you really like, sure, Colin, when the time comes, then you really know what you are doing or not. So when that feeling comes, when you have the whole outfit on together and everything, then you know what's going to happen. Okay, I get it. Yeah, we the surprise that. I don't see it. Mm. When he starts dab or well, something. Well, I mean, he's going to be on the spot like his valedictorian. Yes. Yeah? So, so in, in that regard, for people that are, that are looking at the show, for other students, for people from your school that are looking at you, what are some like words of inspiration or, or like motivation that you can give other students that are following your, your footsteps? Uh, I would say... Keep, don't stop and keep following your dreams. Even when there's obstacles, there's always a way, path, or um, there's always a seat caller so that you can't find another way to go through. Hmm. That's so true. That so true. That's true. You make your way. You make you, you do. You have to make whatever that path is for you because everybody's path's different too as well. And so I think that's super important that just because, you know, your path looked that way, I mean, Kevin path will look the same way. And so... It's nice to know that, you know, embrace whatever comes along that. What about you, Kenwar? Well, all I got to say to the youths and stuff like just focus on school. Just try at least be strong because life is all about being strong and what you put a mind to. Definitely. And just chase your dreams and I try to run after girls or try to get yourself caught up in a gang. Try to stay positive and just make up my proud and push and reach your success. Right. But I, I'm, I'm thinking the, the pressure out there is hard too, you know, like... Uh, from your friends, from, you know, wanting to have, like, a partner and that kind of thing. How did you handle the pressure? Well, the first thing I do, I saw, I saw myself with positive people. People are, like, work, like, my friend, Dalita, so that's a my positive person. So me and he are, like, bullied at school. We always do for we work. We got no time for waste. We get for we stuff done. Anytime group work, me and he best day together and we really do for we thing and stuff. Oh, I said that. I said that. strategy, you know? I never know. I, like I like how we start talking. We get strategies, you know? You see, guys? Find a friend and own a boat uplift each other and you could be able to just go and do it. I just want you to know how the people in the comments are saying how big up Gwen Lee is my school. That congrats, Prada Ono. Um, I love these top students here. And apparently the people from um, Gwen Lee is just a big up Gwen Lee and Ono. It's just like all the love here from all these the graduates yeah. and so forth. So guys, tell us a little bit about, you know, what's next for you? What is your part calling for afterwards? I right, we'll go down the line. So... <laughs> 
Um, I, I plan to continue and go to UB and study. Uh, I, I'm more into technology, so I plan to go and study computer science. Nice, okay. Do you have any like dreams or so when it comes to computer science or just like, you know that's what you want to do, but you don't know exactly yet what you're going to do with it? Uh, I'm more like mine, like study programming, Ooh. computer programming. So that like, I can set up different programs or so. And then you can, if, um, if I'm successful in that field, uh, then I'll be able to help other like companies and set up programs for them. I love it. I love it. I feel like here yeah, I make an app where I create like something where I help believe to I make work. a robot. Yeah. All that like. Program a robot. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever it is you need. And I love it. Like, got your dream and shoot towards it. You know, obstacles will come in the way. But once you just put your foot down and know your solid foundation, you know, I'm not sure what um, Kenmar. Kenmar's um, dream is to us. Are, are, you, are, you, follow, are you following the IT steps as well? Not, not really, but my thing I like mostly like what electrician man. I plan for what you'll be a study electrical engineering. Nice. So it's, yeah, I'm mostly into um, electrical stuff because like my father, he motivate me for those things because like that's that's his feel that he's in. So like that does so well for me and I just like it. So I just I pursue my career in that. And, Do you think you and dad are gonna have like a business together and all of that when I start work together? Because that's kind of like how it kind of ventures into. Well, I plan to have my own business one day, but it's have to work hard towards it and uh, stay in the game. I love how you hear that, like, I plan to have my own business. You make me know, Kenmar, like, yeah. dad's got help out if you want. Like, he go pass me one of the tools, but this is my business. As a person, like, and I really, like, really depend on per per person or nobody. And, like, once I ask a question, I, like, you know, move, shake around me and stuff like that. Like, and I really, like, and I hear to nothing, but I just do my own thing because I really, like, with the other people out of my own man, I do my own stuff. That is true. I mean, you're finding your path. This is your journey to take. And sometimes people don't really support that journey that well or whatever it is. And it's important you stay focused and worry about you, you know, and yes, very important. Yeah. So, Kailisha, what's your plans, girl? Going to six where I'm going to study law. Ooh, uh, nice. So, you are be a liar. Yeah. So, you are going to fight in at a court. So, if I go to jail, you got my back. I just want to know it in advance, right? Because. Uh -huh. I you have to build I'm just like really like and, right. I see you. I see what you're doing here. We don't have an understanding, you know. So we don't know how the uniform. Well, what's your, what's your motivation behind being a lawyer, Kalisha? My mom, my mom always tell me never give up. Always follow your dreams and be humble in every way. So is there any specific law that you want to do right now, or are you just like law? Just law. Just law. So when you're gonna you're gonna find your footing out there when you start and. When, but I see how good you argue with these things and you're going to go far. I'm loving it, you yeah. know. That's you. So, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You. Thank you. As we're wrapping up, I don't know if they want to do a big up to... And I know you don't big up moms, right? But you guys made it, guys. June 11th, you're about to graduate. Yeah, Walk congratulations on graduating. Congratulations to like your whole entire class of 2022 that's graduating from Gwen Liz. My mom, my sister. Please, names, man. You have to give <laughs> these Please give them names. their names. Because they, they really pushed you hard and they supported you throughout this. You got to mention them. Carly Ventura and Iris Ventura. Awesome. There Big up go. the Venturas. Carly and Iris. Big up on yourself. Um, I'd like to big up my mom, Cheryl Henry. Okay. So, big up mom's Miss Cheryl Henry. Huh. And I know you I don't love, big up mom. Anybody this. else you want to big up or not? That's how I big up my grandfather, Wilfred Hamilton. I know that you are at home watching me. I will big up my granny even though she passed away and stuff like that, but I still did it. Still here with you. Yeah. She did watch her fun, she did smell. She saw all that hard work yeah. pay off. Yes, so congratulations to all of you guys. I'm Thanks. looking forward to see you start program all kind of thing. Mr. Program here, do his whole thing. You with your business, you, Miss Laya, going out there and you know, passing the bar and do all these great things, guys. The sky is the limit. You guys can do anything you put your mind to. Just make sure you stay, you know. Focus, like you mentioned, humbled, and this is you. This is your time to shine right. and build yourself. So, congratulations. congratulations once more. And I love the fact that your mothers were like your strong pillars in driving you through. That that really says a lot about moms. So, moms kick butt. Though. Yeah, moms kick butt. Fathers know best. So congratulations <laughs> once more. Thank you so much for joining us on the couch, sharing your story, and of course, we wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing what comes for you in the future. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't had any updates and everything and want to come and just 
Chilar. When you Garcia develop your program, please open. come and yes. show us your program. When your business yeah. now, we you promote your business and everything. Miss Lyra, when you do your cases and you want to talk about whatever, you come and you... Richard, the, the couch is open for you guys. The sky is the limit and we're here to support you. We're so proud of you. Yes. Definitely. We are. Big up Wendy's, guys. All the hardworking students out there, guys. All the teachers. June 11, teachers, principals, administration, all on a big up on ourselves. You guys did it. We, we got rid of one group. <laughs> Another one I didn't really like to say. We got rid of one. Next to go. But <laughs> congratulations to all of Gwenlis Araga students out there. And so we go to our next commercial break. When we're back, we're going to be talking to Galen about an exciting workshop series coming up. Stay tuned for trauma-informed and strength-based counseling. Ooh. We'll be right back. <laughs> 